Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick unboxing and quick review of a new kit that I just received and also a shop card. So stand by and we'll get right to it. Okay and the first shop card we have is from Papa's Model Car Room from Rob. Uh, this is just one of the best looking uh, shop cards uh, out there and uh, really nice looking. Looks, looks just like box art, classic box art. Uh, great finish. Um, and if you haven't checked out uh, Papa's channel, uh, go check it out. Uh, some great information there. He does a lot of historical racing and automotive stuff uh, along with some really nice builds. So uh, if you haven't checked out his site yet, please go check it out. Give it a sub. Follow along with his videos. And uh, thank you, sir, for the card and the kind words on the back. And uh, just uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Okay, let's get to the unboxing. Okay, so, oddly enough, I was watching a video on Papa's Model Car Room just last week, and somebody had got him a built version of this, and I was like, oh man, I've always wanted one of those. And I remember seeing these when I was a kid, but when I was a kid, we didn't like have a lot of hobby shops in the area. I honestly don't know if we had any. Uh, it was mostly the Kmart, the local drugstore and uh, wherever you know I could find a model sometimes you'd find them out at the JC Penney's or a couple other places but I never really had a, a uh, hobby store per se to actually go to and look for kits so I remember this kit when I was probably in about oh I don't know well it was grade school so probably about fourth or fifth grade um, I remember uh, seeing it in a magazine somewhere, I'm not sure, but I was like, oh, I really want to get that kit. Looked around, looked around, couldn't find one. So, and of course, this is long before the internet. But anyways, after I watched uh, Papa's uh, video, uh, I was like, I wonder if maybe I can find one of those. And yeah, there's a few on eBay, but on Saturday, I took a run down to my local secondhand store that I kind of go to from time to time. And lo and behold, he had one there in the box, sealed. So I picked it up. I paid $30 for this one, which I think is a really good deal. And this is the re-release of the re-release. This was from 2015. Um, the original one was released in 1965. Um, the car premiered around, I think, 61. And uh, it, was, it was for show. You know, it was a four engine, four wheel drive dragster, you know, at the time the fastest dragster on earth. And uh, Tommy uh, built the car, so he was also an actor at the time, and he couldn't drive the car due to contractual uh, problems with uh, being also in television. So the person that actually got to drive this car was a young Don Perdome, of all people. So. Um, a lot of history with this car. It, it was really just for show. Uh, from what I understand from my uh, readings up on it, is it's four wheel drive, it's got slicks. The thing was just a ball of smoke going down the track, pretty much burning the tires the whole way. And uh, just a really cool concept and idea. And I, I remember seeing this in books in the library when I was a kid in school and just thought it was really cool. So let's get this thing uh, unwrapped and opened up and take a look at the kit. Okay, so first thing, well, I believe this is our painted figure of Tommy Evo. Yes, it is. That looks kind of cool. Open that up here, take him out. Okay. Feels like it's a uh, resin figure. Let's see if that shows up. It's stamped Ravel Inc. 122414GL3. That's pretty cool. Looks like he's got quite the tan one on there. Maybe I'll repaint that. I don't know. Okay, next we have... Okay, we have a set of four rubber slicks. And looks like some metal axles. That's cool. Alright, first bag. Okay, so on these trees we have... Looks like the body, the seat, the chutes, looks like the brakes and part of the axle. 
the steering wheel. There's quite a bit of flash on here, but all in all, it doesn't look too bad. Next one here we have, okay, this is the uh, frame. And these are the, the header plates. And from what I understand, these are a couple of jigs that we'll use when we uh, install the headers on there. Next one is, okay, whoops, a little piece that fell off there. Next one is all engines. These are the intake manifolds, oil pans. Uh, oh, okay, these are the bottoms. Wow, look at that. You can see the cranks and the uh, connecting rods in there. That's pretty cool, bottom of the engine. And on the heads, you can actually see the pistons and different uh, parts of the stroke there. And then the, uh, the engine heads, with the valves and everything shown. Well, that's pretty good detail, actually. That's pretty nice. It must be just a spacer for the uh, valve cover. Oh no, that's the bottom, I believe, for the uh, intakes. That would probably be where the uh, distributor goes. All right, actually those parts look pretty nice. All right, next one we have oh, some chrome. Let's get that opened. Okay, and we have, oh, these are the uh, intake tubes, the down pipes, velocity stacks, or what we want to call them, looks like parts to the headers. Okay, so this is pretty much, majority of this assembly will just be the engine. Okay, here's our valve covers sure what these are timing covers and then we got our wheels looks like they're two-piece wheels axle housings I'll probably be removing a lot of the chrome from this we shall see okay and then we have okay we have a little set of ins of decals was like pretty nice Not a lot of decals on this then we have our instruction sheet Okay, it's actually quite a bit of instruction sheet here. Yeah, there's the header assembly, engine assembly. But basic Ravel instructions. All right, and that is all that's in the box. Okay, so, uh, looks like a pretty fun kit. I'm gonna enjoy doing this one because like I said, I've always wanted to build this kit. Probably gonna paint it a little different. I, I have an idea how I wanna paint it. Uh, I think it'll look really cool. I'm not going for historically accurate or anything. Uh, I just want to have fun with this kit. So, uh, awesome. So, uh, remember to check out Papa's Model Car Room and sub to him. And thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And uh, just, I hope you're all having a great day. And be safe out there. And go build something.